Hi everybody, my name is Maria Emmerich and I'm back in my happy place, the Swerve Kitchen. Today I'm going to make sweet and sour pork. Who doesn't love sweet and sour pork? I'm a busy working mom, I understand you're all busy. And the Instant Pot has changed my life in many, many ways. This recipe can be made in only 15 minutes. First you're gonna start out with chicken broth. You could use pork broth if you have it or beef and you're just gonna put that right into the Instant Pot. And then you're going to use vinegar. So that goes right into the pot. And I'm gonna use tomato paste. I'm gonna scrape that right on in there. And I'm gonna use Swerve Confectioners. Now I often use Swerve Confectioners in my recipe because it just gives the sauce a smoother texture. Now if you like it really sweet, you could add a little bit more. I'm going to add fish sauce. Fish sauce is going to take your food just to that next level. Fish sauce has this umami, it's just delicious. You have to get some. And then I'm gonna add some lime juice. If you don't have lime, you could use lemon juice if you want. And then I'm gonna add salt, garlic, and some ginger. Now I use fresh grated ginger, and it's just gonna take your food up to that next level. Now I'm going to stir this just so it's really well combined. And then all you have to do is add your protein. So today we're gonna to do pork. And I'm going to add the green pepper. All you have to do is grab your cover and put it on. 15 minutes is for a one pound uh, tenderloin. So we're gonna use pressure cook up to 15 minutes and it's gonna come to temperature and then you're done. One of the reasons I wrote this recipe for sweet and sour pork was because my husband lost his job and we were eating out way too much. Not only that, we wanted to get healthier too. So I started recreating all of my favorite restaurant meals at home and that's where that came from. So not only did we get healthier, we also saved a lot of money. The timer is up. You wanna make sure that you turn it to vent and the steam will come out letting you know when it's time to open it. Oh, hear that? It's time to open. And then you're gonna grab something safe to take the pork out and put it into another dish. And I have these handy meat claws that I can just shred the pork with until it's nice and tender. So then, once you're done shredding it, you're going to take some with a fork and put it into your tacos. And then once they're filled, do not forget the sauce. That is the best part. I love the sauce. Sprinkle that on. Yummy, yummy. And then garnish it with a little bit of green onion and dinner is ready in an instant and it is delicious. Then with storage, I would put the sauce right in with the pork, cover it tightly, store it in the fridge for up to five days, or what's nice is you could freeze this for up to a month, and then you can have an easy weeknight dinner at your fingertips. And I just wanna thank you for joining me in the Swerve Kitchen. I'm Maria Emmerich, and I really hope you try this and enjoy this with your family.